Hello, I'm Jen Person for The Developer Show. This is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. The Google I.O. 2018 schedule just got a big update. On it, you can find additional sessions and code labs, as well as new app reviews, office hours, and after hours events. Head on over to the post for links and info on how to reserve your seat or view the live stream. For apps that target Android P, TLS, or transport layer security is the default. To learn how to update your app, including how to make clear text connections when necessary, take a look at the post. Chrome 67 introduces several new features and changes to DevTools, including the ability to search across all network headers and CSS variable value previews in the Styles pane. All the details with screenshots are on the post. Google and Netflix recently announced Kayenta, an open source automated canary analysis service that allows teams to reduce risk associated with rolling out deployments to production at high velocity. Kayenta is integrated with Spinnaker, an open source multi-cloud continuous delivery platform. All the details and links to get started are on the post. Google Cloud Endpoints is a distributed API gateway that you can use to develop, deploy, protect, and monitor APIs that you expose. You can now configure Cloud Endpoints to use a new managed rollout strategy that automatically uses the latest service configuration without having to redeploy or restart it. We recently added version history to Cloud Firestore security rules. For any Cloud Firestore project, you can now browse all previously published versions of rules view the differences between previous and current versions, and edit the current version. Details and screenshots are on the post. In 2016, we introduced Firebase Cloud Messaging, the next evolution in Google Cloud Messaging. It includes a host of new features, such as an intuitive notifications interface in the Firebase console, better reporting, and native integrations with other Firebase products. We're excited to devote more time and attention to improving FCM, which is why the GCM server and client APIs have been deprecated and will be removed as soon as April 11, 2019, meaning you will need to upgrade to FCM within a year. Of course, we recommend you upgrade sooner rather than later. A step-by-step -step migration guide is linked from the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Jen Person for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I feel like I hear chariots of fire as I'm trying to do this. I'm just like on that Olympic level of saying words.